good day learners. We are now down to the last method of solving quadratic equations, which is about quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula states that x is equal to negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a is not equal to 0. Let us now try to solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula. So the first thing you have to do is to make sure that the given quadratic equation is written in standard form. And since it is already written in standard form, you may now identify the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a is just 1, the value of b is 10, and the value of c is 9. We may now substitute these values of a, b, and c in the quadratic formula. Once again, it is x equals negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Again, substitute. So that's negative value of b is 10. Positive negative square root of, again the value of b is 10, since the formula states that it should be squared, so that's 10 squared minus 4, it is constant in the formula, times the value of a, which is 1, and the value of c, which is 9, all over 2 times the value of a, 1. Once you have substituted all of the values of a, b, and c, we may now simplify. So that's x equals, you just copy this, negative 10, or rewrite plus, minus square root of, let us simplify everything inside the square root, or the radical. So 10 squared means 10 times 10, so it's 100. Negative 4 times 1 times 9. It's negative 36 all over 2 times 1 is 2. Once again, simplify everything inside the radical. So that's x equals negative 10 positive negative square root of 100 minus 36 is 64. All over 2. Now, what is the square root of 64? It is, let me write it here. So we have x equals negative 10 plus minus, again, the square root of 64 is 8 all over 2. Now, we are after two values of x. So we just have to equate x to negative 10 plus 8 divided by 2 first. So that's x equals negative 10 plus 8 over 2. So that is x equals negative 10 plus 8 is negative 2 divided by 2. So the first value of x is negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And for the second value of x, that's negative 10 minus 8 all over 2. So negative 10 minus 8 is negative 18 divided by 2. So negative 18 divided by 2 is negative 9. So the second value of x is negative 9. Okay. Let us now try to solve the second example. So you are given x squared plus 4x equals negative 3. Again, I told you that you have to make sure that the given quadratic equation is written in standard form before applying the quadratic formula. And now since it is not, we have to transform it first into standard form. So we just have to transpose negative 3 or the constant term to the left side of the equation or simply add 
3 on both sides of the equation. So that's x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 0. Since it is now already written in standard form of the traffic equation, we may now identify the values of A, B, and C. So the value of A is just 1, the value of B is 4, and the value of C is 3. Let us now substitute these values in the quadratic formula. Let's start. So x equals negative b, positive negative square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So we have x equals negative value of b, that's 4 positive negative square root of, again, the value of b, 4 squared minus 4 times the value of a, 1, times the value of c, 3, all over 2 times the value of a, 1. Now, since we have already substituted the given values, we are now ready to simplify x plus negative 4, positive negative square root of, again, let us simplify everything inside the radical, okay? So 4 squared means 4 times 4, so that's 16, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times 3 is negative 12, all over 2 times 1, that's 2. Again, simplify again everything inside the radical sign. So, x equals negative 4 plus minus or positive negative square root of 16 minus 12 is just 4 all over 2. Okay, let's continue here. So, we have x equals negative 4 positive, negative, the square root of 4 is just 2, all over 2. Once you get here, you just have to separate the positive and negative 2 so that you may find out the two values of x. Let us begin with the first value. So we have x equals negative 4 plus 2 over 2. So that means negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 divided by 2. The first value of x is negative 1. For the second value of x, so we have again x equals negative 4 and this time negative 2 all over 2. So negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 all over 2. So negative 6 divided by 2 is just negative 3. So these are the two values of x. Let us have the last example. So you were given 2x squared equals 11x minus 14. Since the first step is to make sure that this given quadratic equation is written in standard form, just have to transform it. So that's, we have to transpose the uh, linear term and the constant term to this side of the equation. So 2x squared minus 11x plus 14 equals 0. Okay? Since it is already written in standard form, let us identify the values of a, b, and c. So the value of a is not always 1. Okay. Since the numer numerical coefficient of this uh, quadratic term is 2, the value of A is 2. The value of B is negative 11, and the value of C is 14. And substitute these values in the quadratic formula. X equals negative B, positive negative squared of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So we have here in the formula negative. Now since the value of b is already negative, we might we may 
multiply them. So negative times negative 11 is positive. We are going to write that after this. Plus minus square root of b squared. Again, the value of b is negative 11 squared minus 4 times a times c. All over 2 times 2. Alright? Let us know. Simplify it. So, we have x equals, again, negative times negative 11. That would become positive 11. Positive negative square root of negative 11 squared means negative 11 times negative 11. That's positive 121. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 times positive 14, that's negative 112, okay? All over 2 times 2, that's 4, okay? Let's continue here. So we have x equals 11 positive negative square root of what is 121 minus 112, that is 9 all over 4. So, what is the square root of 9? That is just 3 all over 4. Let us find out the values or the two values of x. So, that's 11 plus 3 over 4. And the other one is x equals 11 minus 3 over 4. Okay? So let's try, try this one. 11 plus 3 is 14 divided by 4. Since there is no exact answer when we divide 14 by 4, let us just express it into simplified form. So we can divide both of them by 2. So the value or of x is 7 over 2. This is the lowest term of 14 over 4. And for the second value of x, it's just 11 minus 3, that is 8, divided by 4. We have an exact answer, so that's 8 divided by 4 is 2. So the two values of x are 7 over 2, and the other one is positive 2. So the value of x can also be a fraction. Just always express your answer in lowest term. Okay?